Hey everyone and welcome to Night at the Improv. Night at the Improv shows every Saturday night 10 p.m. Eastern Time. It's the show where you direct my design and after spinning our word for tonight, Aurora Borealis given to us by Latina Nail Designs. Thank you so much Latina for our word for tonight, Aurora Borealis. If you would like to direct me to do a design, leave a comment below your word and I'll add it to the spinner and who knows, maybe next episode your word will be chosen. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. I waited for the lacquer to dry and I'm putting a gel polish over this. It's so good that I only need to do one um, color background so I don't have to worry about doing ombres or anything. But let's see what the wheel will spin us. So after our first spin, our first required decoration for the night is going to be the dreaded striping tape. So um, I thought many things. I thought maybe I would do the outline of the Aurora Borealis in the sky, but I was like, ah, oh, you know what, let's integrate a scene and not just the Aurora Borealis. So I'm taking these... Um, shades of blue striping tape and I am just kind of making mountain tops. Um, there are mountainscapes um, over at the Aurora Borealis so I thought that I would just you know try splitting up the nail and um, using the striping tape to create these mountains and using different shades of the blue like I said um, to kind of give like a foreground background type look uh, and that's all I got. <laughs> if you're watching this far, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and click that like button. It really helps my channel out and I greatly appreciate your support. And after our next spin, our second required decoration for the night is cat's eye. Um, this is like a heaven scent. Um, I was going to use cat's eye anyway. but <laughs> um, So now I had to figure out how to use it right. Because I always felt like I've done Aurora Borealis nails before. But I just feel like I, I can never get this cat's eye right. So I'm actually, last week I integrated the three decorations onto each nail. For some reason, I'm doing that here as well. So for the cat's eye, I'm going to do three different techniques. And this first technique is just laying down um, the cat's eye and kind of just taking this magnet and kind of like gently pushing the metals to a certain um, formation. And so it's kind of like a light cat's eye. As you can see, it's not a real defined line. And if I did make one I tried to soften it up a little bit so um, what I did realize though is that uh, I probably should have put the blue shade in on top because it really molded out um, but I'm just layering this sucker because I want that big pal of Aurora Borealis different colors in the sky and these ones definitely are perfect because they add like stars up in the sky kind of with all the glitter in it so I don't know. 
But anyway, this second technique I actually learned from um, Kristen Meakin. She did this on Nao Nails when she was on Nao Nails. Now she has her own channel. But um, she did her Aurora Borealis like this. And I've always remembered how she did this because I thought it was a cool thing. Not too many people were doing cat's eye back in the day. Back in the day. I don't know what year I, I saw that video. But anyway. So I was like, okay, let's try this technique out. So I'm pretty much just mixing colors. And as you can see, it looks amazing. It looks like legit Aurora Borealis with all the different colors just popping through because we kind of did that mix on there. So I'm just going to kind of play with this and see what I can get out of it. But I'm kind of liking it. So to further enhance just the different waves of Aurora Borealis, I'm just going back in with this other kind of galaxy looking cat's eye and randomly drawing lines on the nail to kind of break up um, if there are any, you know, formations happening that are too consistent for this nail. And this one was pretty straightforward. This last one, I figured I would just draw each um, of the bands of Aurora Borealis. Um, that was my initial idea in the beginning, to do these individual lines. And then um, all of a sudden, the other techniques just came in to kind of um, just make it different. But I'm really liking this technique technique as well. I ombre the line and feathered it off to give it that kind of um, aurora, woo, aurora borealis look. My, my voice is cracking. It's, it's late. <laughs> Maybe not your late, but my late because I have been so tired today. Um, so much going on. But anyway, so here I'm just going to layer up. I've got one more color after this and I thought this cat's eye gel was very uh, pretty with all the glitters in it. So I'm putting that as the prominent band and I'm just going to ombre all of that um, down the nail and um, use the magnet to push those metals to where I think it's it'll look okay. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the cat's eye portion. Um, and we'll see what we have next. If you're watching this far, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and click that like button. It really helps my channel out and I greatly appreciate your support. And after spinning, our final decoration for the night is going to be rhinestones. So that's also very um, helpful to me. I really, other than the striping tape, I think I really liked the decoration selections here because it's helping me out, <laughs> uh, which is always good. So um, to kind of continue with this um uh, Aurora Borealis scape. Um, we have the mountains in the background. I'm just using this metallic uh, paint gel to paint up some tall trees to kind of break up this. It was just really plain on um, the mountains and I really didn't want to have to color them in with anything. So I'm just going to block it off with some of these trees and call it a day. <laughs> So um, after I do this though, um, I do have to use the rhinestones on the nail and um, uh, an easy peasy lemon squeezy is going to be um, putting the rhinestones as the larger stars in the sky. So I'm going to be um, placing them uh, randomly on each of these nails um, and I'm using like the tiniest size possible. I thought about using the Pixie um, crystals, but I just wanted a clear uh, rhinestone and the Pixie crystals that I have are iridescent and there's facets and I, I just didn't think that it was going to be um, 
that great compared to a pop of clear rhinestone. But um, I will pop back in uh, at the end results. Um, so I'll just leave this right here. If you're watching this far, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and click that like button. It really helps my channel out and I greatly appreciate your support. And here is the end result for our word for tonight, Aurora Borealis, given to us by Latina Nail Designs. Thank you so much, Latina, for our word for tonight, Aurora Borealis. If you would like to direct me to do a design, leave a comment below your word, and I'll add it to the spinner. And who knows, maybe next episode, your word will be chosen. And here is the color cat's eye mix technique that I did. We put, um, I think, four different colors or three different colors to begin with. And then we did the cat's eye. Um, and then I did um, put an extra color, streaks of color on top to kind of break it up so that there, it's different. So as you can see here, each angle has a different color sheen, which is very beautiful and then next I have my layered technique where um, I softly kind of push the metals aside and the mix did end up looking really nice you can see as I'm spinning it there's different it's going in different directions the only thing is I should have put the blue on top because it's watered down at this point it's very pale and you, you probably can't see it in the video in the video but um i do like the different directions that the aurora borealis is going in and i do like the the mountains are working well like the mountainscape is working well um with the aurora borealis uh it looks like i did color the mountains in but it's all just striping tape, so I'm glad I figured out some use for that striping tape. And then last but not least, I have the um, just individual line drawn technique for the Aurora Borealis. I used the ombre brush to feather it down, and um, I could have feathered it better, better because it's looking kind of solid. But that green on top, um, oh my gosh, it's just exquisite and makes it just look so, so nice. Well, thank you so much for joining me at Night at the Improv every Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. Worldly Josieisms and Night at the Improv will return in the beginning of August. So for now, I'm going to be doing um, daily nail designs for the month of July using the July Mystery Box with Varnail. As you know, I am a proud brand ambassador for Varnail. So if you would like to get this box before you see the designs, go ahead and click on my link in the description box below. It'll help me out and I greatly appreciate your support. I will be throwing some bonus videos every week, so look out for that. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.